The Long-Term Care Commission meets in private, but has released a transcript of Monday's interview. Ontario's Chief Medical Officer of Health was challenged about not taking into account the transmission of COVID-19 among people with no symptoms during the first wave of the pandemic, and about long-term care homes being unprepared to prevent the spread of illness. It shows a real troubling pattern where, where you know, Dr. Williams was... Um, you know, was slow to act. These are complicated questions. In response to backlash today, Dr. David Williams says there is still scientific debate over asymptomatic transmission of COVID-19, but he's always looking to improve the system. What can we learn, how we can handle this, and how we keep moving and building for the future on these issues too, because some things we have done well, some things I think we could do better. I have every confidence in Dr. Williams. He's done a great job for Ontario, such that we are now uh, the, with the lowest rate per 100,000 cases uh, in North America, with the exception of the, the maritime provinces. And uh, he's, he's done uh, a lot to guide us through some very, very difficult times. But opposition members say the government has been stalling the Commission's work. That Commission heard from Dr. Williams on Monday. Uh, and two days before his appearance, uh, the Commission received 217,000 documents uh, and uh, 2,000 uh, pages of handwritten notes from Dr. Williams. Why does this look like a stinking cover-up? The Commission is also expected to speak to the Health Minister and the Long-Term Care Minister this week. Lisa Hefner, CHCH News.